and many thanks for joining us. Now, school children in a section of Madare today had to abandon classes and run for dear life after police engaged residents in running battles over the brewing of Chang'a. Police lobbed tear gas canisters and fired in the air to try and disperse residents who were resisting the move to close down Chang'a dens. Several houses were reduced to ashes after a fire erupted in one of the brewing dens during the running battles and quickly spread. <laughs> From Sunday, police in Madare have been on a campaign dubbed Mwaga Changa. Four days later, with little to show for the campaign. They descended on the Changa dens operating along the river and destroyed them. But the Changa operators would not let the police have it their way. They engaged the police in running battles. A fire erupted in one of the brewing dens and spread to adjacent houses as the residents engaged the law enforcers in a scuffle. <laughs> in the day's drama school children, some as young as six years old, were the victims. They were caught unawares, forced to abandon classes and run for safety. <laughs> Their closest encounter with tear gas and running battles. The busy Juju Road remained closed to traffic for hours. Several families were rendered homeless after their houses were burnt down. <laughs> Dealing with the Chang'a problem has been a headache for administrators in slum areas in Nairobi. Here in Madare, police insist they will do what it takes in the campaign, Mwaga Chang'a. Rita Tinina.